I have a new Vital Information album that was recorded by a new version of Vital Information called Vital Information NYC Edition. And sometimes I tour with that group because lately I've been living in New York and Tom Coster lives in the West Coast, but the other guys in the band live on the East Coast. And I combined the Vital Information band with some of my other groups, uh, Jazz Legacy, I have a band called Jazz Legacy, and uh, in that group is Mark Soskin on the keyboards and Andy Fusco on the alto. So I had them come into Vital Information with Baron and Vinny. And so we play music that's it's a little more on the jazz side with that group. And we have a, a studio record that I hope will come out on BFM Jazz sometime in January of next year, January of 2015. And then we'll do some touring. And then at the same time that this record is finished, I'm also working on a new album with Vital Information with Vinny, Valentino, Tom Coster, and Baron Brown. So that's going to be, of course, more of a jazz fusion record with some influence of Indian rhythms and odd times and things like that. So that has a pretty different direction than the NYC edition. So then when that album comes out, we'll tour with that record. Nice. I just uh, finished rec I just finished recording an album with Neil Sean who I keep in touch with. We did a, a solo album of his about two years ago called The Calling, and now we just worked on a new album, a follow-up to that, an instrumental rock album. And when we do those records, it's just him and I in the studio. And we work together, we write together a lot of the time because he comes in with lots of riffs, and then I help him organize the riffs and write a drum track and then he can expand on the on the music to the drum tracks and so we jam in the studio and that's how we create the music and so we just finished an entire record and Jan Hammer just played solos on three of the tunes that's which sounds pretty amazing so that's being mixed right now and that I would imagine will come out in 2015 I'm on a brand new DVD by Zakir Hussain, the great tabla player, and it's called the SF Jazz Sessions. So last year, Zakir played four nights at SF Jazz. It's a beautiful new venue in San Francisco. And each night that he played, he had a different group. And one night was a percussion group with just, you know, with me, Eric Harlan, and Giovanni Hidalgo. And then one night he played with Bela Fleck, and another night, you know, some Indian musicians. So he uh, recently released a DVD that, that I'm on. And I, uh, two weeks ago, I completed a four week tour of the US with a group called Zakir Hussein and Masters of Percussion, with all uh, five Indian percussionists and, and me on the drum set. And it's the first time he's had a non Indian musician in the band but I've been studying Indian rhythms for the last 12 years and I'm finally to the point where I'm able to play with some of the great Indian percussionists. So we just finished a tour and hopefully we'll be touring in other parts of the world and then you know, later this year and into next year as well. I, w I was here in 2004 with Vital Information and uh, we had a wonderful time playing in this environment. And really the, the spirit and the feeling of the club is like a very cool jazz club. And, uh, and so it's great to be back and to play for the people which have developed a great appreciation for music because the club is nurturing the ears and listening habits of the the music lovers here by bringing in some of the best musicians in the world. And this is what helps create a jazz culture in, a, in the world where this is not common, you know, to, to have jazz culture. And it, and it really is up to the passion and drive of the people booking the club. So thank you, Jorgis, for really putting your heart and soul into the club and, and bringing in the great musicians 
so your audience here in Athens can be exposed to great music and great music live, which makes a huge difference. Because yes, you can watch people play on YouTube and listen on recordings, but it is not the same as being in the room with live musicians. That is a once in a lifetime experience. So it's really fortunate that the people here in Athens get to hear world-class musicians. I learned drumming by going to a drum teacher when I was nine years old. So from the very beginning of me playing the drum set, I learned from a teacher. And I learned how to read music, and I learned the rudiments, and I learned from a concept of being a jazz drummer first, uh, which I found to be extremely helpful because jazz music actually was the first kind of music played on the drum set. And all other kinds of drumming developed from that. So jazz was first, then the other drumming came and eventually drummers started playing on blues albums and rhythm and blues albums and eventually country records and then it evolved into rock. So for me having let's say an academic background and learning jazz first opened the door to be able to play any kind of music because I got the foundation first. And, and so I'm a person that believes a great way to learn playing is by attending a school. And it worked for me. I first had uh, private lessons and then I went to the Berklee College of Music after I left high school and I spent about three years uh, studying with some great teachers. And, and I've learned that the environment of a school is important because yes, you will learn from some very good teachers, number one, but number two, you'll also meet a very good peer group and you'll be able to play with other musicians that are at your level some are going to be above, some are going to be below, but that's like life. <laughs> and that's the way you learn, by playing. So you learn by studying and then by taking that information and playing. And so you need to be in an environment where that is a reality. And in today's world, one of the best ways to do that is in a school environment. And then the next step from that is networking. And of course, you know, you need to have your abilities in order to work, but meeting other musicians is the most important first step, especially to start to work, to network and start to work, because then your abilities will speak for themselves. But if you're a drummer, you'll meet bass players, you'll meet guitar players and other musicians, and then you'll be able to hopefully start to work as a, as a musician. So. I'm a person that is a very big endorser of going to school, studying music, learning how to read music, developing your education, getting some jazz roots especially, and then from there you should be able to play anything. <laughs>